me here and welcome to my first So this is my first cooking video. I've never done one before uh, I can't promise you guys that it's gonna be amazing But I'm gonna try my best and I have chosen my mother's cake that she does for me ever since I was a kid It's a chocolate cake. It's delicious because the outside is really really nice and hard But the inside is so nice and creamy and moussey and it's my favorite chocolate cake ever since I was a kid So I want to share that with you guys and I really, really hope you enjoy it. It's very, very simple. Uh, not many ingredients, but uh, I'm gonna try and do this as easy as possible. So it's a DIY cooking video by Mia. Yay! I can promise you that this is a cake that you're gonna wanna do every single time you have a dinner party at home because it's so delicious. It's like creamy and I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can see these videos every single week and give this video a thumbs up if you like it so that I know that I'll do more of these videos and if you wanna see other recipes, let me know. Like cookies or uh, quick meals that you can do before you go to school or quick meals you can do before you go to work, etc. Just let me know down below in the comment box below. So enough talking and let's go. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need is one bar of chocolate. Six eggs, four tablespoons of flour, six tablespoons of sugar, 200 milliliters of cream, and two tablespoons of soft butter. All right, so after you've got all of your ingredients and everything is cool and groovy and we can get started to making the cake, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. So I've got my oven heating right now to 180 degrees Celsius. It's gonna get nice and warm and cozy in there. And while it's heating up, I'm gonna do the first thing, which is we're gonna melt the chocolate. Mm. Okay guys, so you're gonna get yourself a nice big pan, fill it with water and leave it on the stove to boil. Now while that's boiling, you're gonna get your chocolate bar and start breaking it into really small pieces of chocolate into a small container uh, so that it melts easier. When you're done, it should look something like this. And you're gonna slowly put that into the boiling water so that it starts to melt. Then you're gonna go ahead and add your butter inside so the chocolate and the butter melt together. So the next thing to do is we have to separate the yolks from the whites of our six eggs. So what you're gonna get is two different places to put the different parts of the egg, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna put my whites into this uh, bowl from my Kenwood machine, but you can just put it in any bowl. Uh, because then we're gonna whisk that into a nice big white castle, which is what my mother calls them. So yeah, so you're just gonna crack it open. You've gotta be really good at this because I have done it so many times where you know you let bits of the yolk to get into the white part and you just really, really can't. So the whites pretty much go into this big bowl and the yolks stay into another bowl. When you're done with that, you just put this part into the bit. And you're gonna do that with the six eggs. Don't worry if you get a bit of the yolk inside the whites. What you do is gently with a little spoon, or even if it's really, really small, just a little knife, just to try and get it out again. And also if you put a bit of the, um, God, I'm forgetting the word today. In Portuguese, it's the casca. <laughs> this, the outer part of the egg, if you get some of that inside, it's also okay, just try and spoon it out with um, a spoon or a fork or a knife or whatever you have next to you. Okay. It's like I'm ringing a bell. Cake time! So yeah, have fun separating. Woo I'm done. So your whites should be in one place and your yolks in another. The next step is to whisk your whites around. Now keep whisking until they grow double in size and they become nice and white and firm like big, big castles. Then you're gonna wanna put all of the whites into a container. Just gently put them into a container and then you're gonna wanna put them in the fridge and keep them there until I tell you to take them out, okay? <laughs> Next thing to do is get your yolks, put them into a container. After the yolks, you wanna add all of your sugar and it should look something like this. Perfect, now whisk that all around and keep doing that until it doubles in size and it becomes nice and white. It'll look more creamy white like this. So now you can get your chocolate, which should be nice and melted, and you're gonna wanna add that into the main mixture bowl. Don't worry if you have troubles getting it off the main spoon or spatula, just use another one and slowly put it into the mixture. Then whisk it around until it looks something like this. 
All right, guys, so you've made it halfway through the cake making process, so give yourself a nice pat in the back, or just clap to yourself, which is what I do. I did this all by Okay, moving on. <clears throat> so now what you've got is you've got this nice brown mixture, which just makes you want to put your finger there and just eat the whole thing without actually baking it, but don't do that. So let's continue. What you want to do now is add your flour. Now, I don't have baking powder, and I don't use it because I have a self-raising flour, but if you want to, get yourself some baking powder, and you can put one teaspoon of baking, flour, uh, bleh, baking powder inside the mixture itself. So what we're going to do is put this inside the bowl. Again, don't worry if you don't have Maya products like the Kenwood or that or whatever. You can actually use a um, cake whisking, um, you know, those things that go It's okay. You don't have to have this big ass thing. So yeah, we're going to just add this inside slowly. Big puffy, puffy thing. Puffy mixture. Okay, I should actually take this off, but whatever, I'm too lazy. And voila, we put that inside. What we're gonna do is whisk that all together. Now you can add your cream inside and mix it all together. Now go ahead and get your tin where you want to put your cake inside. I put mine with a bit of vegetable paper, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, after that, you want to get a piece of paper and put some butter inside so that the cake doesn't stick to the um, tin. So after you've whisked all the ingredients together, you're going to have a beautiful chocolate mixture. And what I'm going to do is just take off this part so that it makes it easier for me to mix everything together. Just put that over here. Now, this is the part where you take away your whites from the fridge that you put in earlier. They're nice and castly, like my mother says. And what you're going to do is, gently, you're going to mix this into the main mixture bowl and slowly. So you don't actually have to use the, the whisking machine anymore. You're going to just want to gently mix it all together with your own hands. So you just want to mix it very, very slowly until you don't see any white parts anymore. Don't worry if you're like, this is never gonna happen. There's just so much white in here. Like, I'll show you what mine looks like right now. I'm sure you're like, no, Mia. Don't worry, mine looks exactly the same. You see that? Don't worry, you just gently mix it all together and the white will go. And this is what makes the, um, the cake so nice and moussey in the middle, you know, that part where it's not actually, don't worry if that happens. It happens to me too, falling out. Gently whisk that all together, very slowly. I seem to, when I do this, it always uh, sounds like clouds, if clouds actually had a sound. Don't worry guys, soon you'll be able to do that part that everybody loves with the cakes, which is the finger licking part. Finally, you can add your cake mixture into your cake tin. And believe me, we are getting close to the end. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're at the end of our cooking process. We have this beautiful, soon to be chocolate cake, Rita's chocolate cake. Look at that, looks nice and beautiful. So what you're gonna do now is, thank you Toby, that's my dog walking around the kitchen. What we're gonna do now is put this in the oven for 20 minutes. Please guys, don't leave it for more, even if you think, ah, it's not done yet. Take it out of 20 minutes because you're gonna have this beautiful, nice and firm outside part of the cake, but the inside's gonna be nice and mushy, like a nice chocolate mousse. So please, put it in the oven, 20 minutes, 180 degrees Celsius, and leave it for 20 minutes. So the 20 minutes are up, and I've taken my cake out of the oven, and it looks beautiful. It smells wonderful, and if you do this in your house, I'm sure your house is going to be filled with this beautiful chocolate smell, which is great. And I'm just going to show you what my cake looks like, and this is why I said that it couldn't be more than 20 minutes, because if you hold it up like this, and I shake it, the whole cake shakes. And that's because when it dries, you'll see that when you cut the pieces, they're going to be so nice and moussey in the middle and a bit hard on the end so that when you mix everything together in your fork, it is just going to melt in your mouth and it is wonderful. So I'm just going to take it out of this tin right now, put it on top of a beautiful um, glass plate or whatever you have at home to uh, show people that you've made your own cake. It's the Rita chocolate cake. And when they come to your house, it's going to be smelling of beautiful chocolate and you'll have a wonderful little chocolate in the middle of the cake. So let me just show you that.
So I hope you enjoyed this Rita chocolate cake. Uh, I hope that my uh, instructions weren't too difficult to follow and I hope that you have yourself a beautiful little chocolate cake in your house. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more cooking videos by Mia. Uh, I'm going to get better every single video that I do, I'm sure. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to so that you can get notifications on the new videos and comment below if you want to see me doing one of your favorite recipes I would love to try that out for you guys. So yeah, every music video is coming up on Wednesday So don't forget to check that on the channel and I hope to see you very very soon mm.